Hi, I'm Seamus Connolly. I'm running for Granby's Board of Health because I because I ha because because I've seen what this pandemic has done to Granby's children. I cannot I cannot imagine and can only emphasize of what these kids have gone through in from 2020 on from 2020 onward having to be taken out of having to be taken out of first having to, having to be taken out of the second half of first grade is the you know what I mean it's just unimaginable not being able to see your friends being afraid being afraid being afraid of killing grandma and grandpa with covid having to not having to live having having to live having to live in fear i can't imagine that being a child more recently than most of the residents in town. I understand, you know what I mean? I can only emphasize, I can't and I can't 100% put myself in their position because, because I was in first grade in the 1990s. COVID-19 COVID is just, COVID-19 has touched us all politically, destructively. It has been, it has been, it has been, a, it has been a disease that we must overcome. I have seen, you know what I mean, there have been, there have been multiple suicides in multiple parts of the state. There are many, there was a suicide in Belchertown that took place in, that took place last week. And to, and I truly believe that the Granby Board of Health needs to get on board in the 21st century. I understand that the Mass General Bylaws do not do not do not require the any board of health to really look into the mental health aspect of Graham of Granby's children. I understand that the board of health, when it was established, mental health was not a discussion any politicians were having on the state or federal level. I truly, I tr what I could bring to the table is twenty years babysitting experience, eighteen years volunteer experience with GAA at age fourteen, all the way to the present. 16 years were 16 years worth of volunteering from the Granby Booster Club. I was a counselor in training at Camp Howe and former superintendent Pat Stevens had given me a re had given me a reference to work there. I know how to, I know how these I I know how these things are done and I have been studying very diligently. Uh, somebody who, uh, somebody who, uh, somebody who, um, who, uh, you know, who tests COVID samples, who, on, who uh, makes, uh, who does inspections on, on eating establishments, um, who, on, who under uh, sewage, sewage measure measurements, property measurement lines, um, also, um, also like approving of vendors. Uh, that like, for example, we have a tax sale tomorrow on May 14th. That was approved to the Board of Health recently. The Board of Health's job is also, is also to, is also to, is also for like a waste management as well. Well, technically not waste management, but technically anything to do with like sewage systems. Um, I'd say, I'd say besides COVID testing, pest control, mosquitoes, ticks, all that stuff that you do. Uh, I also would say, I also would say what I could bring to the table is, is, is protecting the mental health of our residents. On the mask mandate issue, I would take a more hands-off approach. I would not in, I would not be in favor of enforcing a mask mandate on the town residents or in any business establishment or any bar or any store. I believe that should be up to the owner and the individual. I think that the mask issue is very contentious. We had a national walkout on February 28th. And on and the town of Granby. In February of 2022, the city of Springfield, which is a population of one, 
155,929 people. The, the mayor of Springfield ended the mask mandate in that city when we are a town of less than 7,000 people. I think, the, I think if you really look at the math, which Springfield has a more densely populated area, you could tell that if the State of the Union address was, was maskless, then I truly believe that we should not be enforcing a mask mandate if Dr. Anthony Fauci is not considering a mask mandate when it is not necessary. I believe in, I believe in listening to the employees of the CDC over, you know, over the Board of Health, who I think is just being way too cautious and, you know, not living, you know, just too scared, I think. They need to understand you know, the Gram the the Granby's residents, we the people, we the people, we the people tell the government how to we the gov we the the government is the car. We the people are the driver. I was listening to my opponent's, um, my opponent's um, um, GCAM video just a few days ago, Alex, um, uh, and I heard of his like a hydraulic loop that he proposed, and I would be on board with that. I would also, I would also consider, I would also consider uh, a joint Granby Board of Health a joint select board, a joint finance committee, a joint school committee, a joint board of board of assessors. Every, you know, at least at least at least four times every season. Like for example, in the fall, we meet two times in September, two times in October. In the winter, two times in December, two times in January. Two times in February and another two times in May. And 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 uh, April and May, and then another and then another two times in late July and two times in August. The reason I'm suggesting that is because if we as a town are 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 in constant contact with each other, all the all the major boards, highway department, board of health, board of assessors, and we are in constant contact with each other, whether you know whether we agree with each other or not, if we as a community all the boards that our, that our tax dollars pay are in constant contact with each other over budgeting and we, we, we consult the finance committee, we consult the community, community leaders. I think, that's a, I think that is a very good step in the direction. I also like to say to my opponent, thank you for giving me the benefit of the doubt if he wasn't elected, for at least giving me the benefit of the doubt, even not mention in my name. I say that is smart and very classy. Um, I have been building relationships with this community for you know for my 20 year for my 20 year experience 20 year experience with babysitting since I was 12. I've worked at Lucky Horse Farm. I have worked for I work at work currently work at Lucky Horse Farm and Holden Humphrey Company. I truly have I truly have volunteered at GAA for 18 years. I've currently, you know, Alex, that I'm on the Booster Club and I've been to Booster Club since you arrived for GCAM. So I have that experience with the community already. You've seen me at away games, you've seen me at games as far as maybe even Danvers when we, if you can recall the 2018 soccer it was going on, we made it to state champs. We didn't win, but it was a good, it was a good try for that for that year but i have built relationships you know with grand vpd with fire department and you know i run into them practically every other week you know 
just yesterday there was an officer, I'm not going to mention his name due to, you know, due to conflict of interest laws, but he said, he said, good luck. He wasn't endorsing me. He just said, good luck. Well, let's say I was, let's say you're describing, you know, in 2022 and the state of the, you know, like I said earlier, the state of the union, the state of the union, the state of the union, um, the state of the union dress was maskless. I would have ended the mask mandate in, you know, in February. And I would have, and I would have, I would have gotten back to the, to the angry residents and would have returned their emails immediately. I would not, 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 I would not like, I would not like, I would not like hide in my house and from, from my voters because like I said earlier, we the people, uh, we the people are the driver. The government is the car. So I really think that you should at least Consider that I would have ended the mask mandate here and then if it was in if the state the Department of Desi MIA Said we could the second Department of Education said we could I would have ended it in the schools immediately I'm all for I'm all I'm all for, I'm not I'm all for being cautious, but not too cautious when it comes to the pandemic, if we have to mask up and the state says we have to do, then, you know, then, then I would leave it up to the state and the federal government, not, not a town government. I would want, I want to take a hands off approach is what I would do because, because I can't imagine what these kids have gone through. I can't 100% put myself in their shoes. You know, I don't under, I really have seen the mental health effects that has happened to these kids. There are kids around the country that have, that have in 2020, they've committed suicide. Children as young as 12, eight, nine, eight, seven even. Well, let, let's say it, let's, how would I implement it? Well, how would I implement it if it arose? I would probably in, I would probably, I would probably in this case, you know, in that case, let's say it arose, I would, I would wait for the state to implement it, not the, not the town. I would not want to enforce a mask mandate on the residents of Granby. I would, Truly, I truly, because I truly believe in the freedom of choice. But I would, but if I had to enforce a mask mandate and it was out of my control, I would do so. But if it was in my control, I would not implement a mask mandate because, because as I said, we the people. And, you know, and, and look, I have, look, I have a veteran father who is, who is going to be 70 years old. I remember in 2020 having to mask up and also having to keep track of the people I came in close contact with because it was nervous for his, for his sake. So please understand that, that I too take COVID seriously. I have been, I have been vaccinated. I had my booster shot. I had I had my already had my other two COVID shots in 2021. You know, uh, I think you could find that on, on, on any. I think you could find that on on Facebook. You know, on the town meet and FB pages. Um, but yes, if yes, I. But I don't really believe in masking up. Unless the state said we had to, then it's out of my control.
I would continue my position I already have at the Booster Club. I would continue my position already like volunteering at GAA practices and you know, I would continue, I would continue, you know, I'd continue going to town meetings, you know, uh, with a, you know, every single town meeting they've been to from 2017 onward. I would continue to fight for what I believe is right and you know, and what I believe it and, you know, and stand up to what I believe is wrong. But I don't believe, I don't, I, you know, if I am not elected, I will, I will, I will tell my, I will tell my opponent congratulations. But if I am elected, but I will still continue to serve the town. It was worth a shot. And I, there's always other offices I can run for too. I would say to the people of Granby, I hope you do vote for me because 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 I have because I have your children's best interest. I hope to all the parents who are watching this or listening to this understand that you know understand that people in that 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 people that I believe in your personal freedom. If you the if you the people, let's say come like come twenty. Come like, you know, come, let's say we have, you the people want a mask mandate and, you know, it's a majority of the people, then I'll say yes. But I really would say vote for me because Grandy's, because, because there have been way too many children that have committed suicide. I can't imagine what those mothers and fathers who have, who had to bear, who had to bury their children in a lonely cemetery with no one they knew if they were lucky enough to even be buried next to their great grandparents. I can't imagine. And I'm gonna read a statement that my, that my goddaughter had sent to me. Uncle Seamus, this is dated, this is dated June 11, 2020. Uncle Seamus, you are my godfather and I love you very, very much, but you do not understand what it's like to lose, to have, to have the second half of first grade taken from you. When you were a kid, there was no pandemic. You did not have to wear a mask. You, 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 you know, you could say, you could try to make me positive all you want, but I am having depression issues. I would really like it if, you know, if, if you would start, if, you know, I, I really hate it and I want to go back to school and I want to see my friends and I truly, truly miss the life, the life that was the life I had in 2019. You can emphasize with me all you want, but you can, but no grown up can truly put themselves in, in their, in our shoes. Even you know that. So I pretty, so as your goddaughter, I ask you very, very much, who, who I've known my whole life and whose father is my best friend, whose fathers are best friends with, with me, please, I hope this virus ends soon. I just want to go back to normal. If I do win, I will execute the bylaws of Granby very, very well and effectively. I will, you know, and if I'm not elected, I will, you know, I will say, hey, it was worth a try. And I will, you know, and I will congratulate my opponent. But if I do win, I will, I will, you know, I will be, I will be humbly honored to be Granby's humble servant either way. God bless America. God bless Granby, Massachusetts. God bless our veterans. God bless America.